garden of Brightmoor. Brown eyes inquiring beneath barely formed eyebrows, winding to corkscrews of indelicate hair, letting her know she must tend to this emerging mind, emanating from disregarded city streets, forming broken tree limbs from last winter's storm in the garden of Brightmoor. Homes stricken with the debris of racism and decay of human compassion distract from determined women dedicated to caring for the next generation in the garden of Brightmoor. Pearson Street home to heroes, licensed for 12 minds in diapers, nurturing descendants to the greatness of their capability as consistent daily routines prepare them to engage with the grace of family. What some see as care does not reflect the born weight of responsibility and education that takes place in the garden of Brightmoor. Concrete landscape where EBT replaces apple card buying necessities for the miniature kitchens tended to by heirs to inequality whose banks have shelves instead of tellers and students focusing on basketball and screaming with the joy they have for one another. If only the bus sprouts found their way to them like the loose parts play every morning after picking weeds that look like flowers in the garden of Brightmoor. Exquisite kinky hair cascading across the Grace Byers book saying I am enough with shoes shaped like animals and fake ovens on floors baking memories that last a millennia in the garden of Brightmoor. Multicolored carpet strewn with toys and hopes not yet realized under fluorescent lights, casting shadows of opportunity from open ceilings hewn with beams, shielding an underserved future and trees painted on walls with colors in the currency of calculated learning, building a bridge beyond the blight to a prized space to be able to give back to these matrons who gave so much to make so many so much more than they would have been otherwise in the garden of Brightmoor. They may not see the harvests of their labor for the season it takes a woman to build the future of who we are is longer than the time our vegetables and fruit are carted across the contours of a country that leaves them just far enough away to ignore given what's stowed at my local store. Otherwise an easy choice for those who live in a more desired zip code, but the children will reap what they they have sowed in the garden of Brightmoor. This is what they are planting. This is who they are tending. Detroit is where they are staying. This is why we should hear them. This is why we should adore them. Now is when they should be revered in the garden of Brightmoor. <laughs>